And welcome back once again. Sun Dog Cat and Moon Veterinary Clinic is on Jane's, uh, Jane, John's Island offering holistic healing and care for all animals. Our good friend, Dr. Ruth Roberts, is here to talk about a very serious canine flu outbreak and what we can do to help uh, and protect our dogs. Uh, and this is mainly for dogs, right? It is for dogs. Mm -hmm. And interestingly, it's the same strange, uh, strain of flu uh, that we were experiencing this mm -hmm. year as humans. Uh, Thankfully, it's different enough so that it, we're not catching it from the dogs. And thankfully, the other thing is that mostly the outbreak is confined mm -hmm. to the Chicago area, although there are a few cases that have just started to pop up in the Midwest. Mm -hmm. And it's believed to have originated around a racetrack uh, for greyhounds uh, mm -hmm. in the Chicago area. So from there, it spread into the pet population and into boarding kennels, dog parks, mm -hmm. things of that nature. Because all all it has to do is, is one have it, and he's close to the other ones. The, exactly, and, and the, it can spread. What exactly is canine flu? Right? It and this one is a respiratory oh. flu. So mm -hmm. it's it again, it's the same strain that we were getting this year. Mm -hmm. So the symptoms have been things like coughing, fever, lethargy, mm -hmm. uh, dehydration, things mm -hmm. of that nature. Very similar to a human. Exactly. Okay. And unfortunately, mm -hmm. this flu is is very hot, meaning that 80% of the dogs that are exposed mm -hmm. to it actually get sick. The remaining 20%, even though they don't get sick, uh, can still expose other dogs to it, which is a problem. So they can carry that flu bug with them, even though they might not show the symptoms or exactly. get sick uh, and give it to others. Uh, uh, that's that's kind of strange. I mean, well, that's what yeah. happens with us too, and that's yeah. what we forget about mm -hmm. is that everybody probably gets exposed to the flu mm -hmm. some course during the the flu season, mm -hmm. but not all of us get sick with it, thankfully. Mm -hmm. Speaking of us getting mm -hmm. sick, and the dogs have flu, can the Flu, the canine flu be transmitted to humans? Thankfully, no. Oh, so wow. even though it's the same strain, it's different enough genetically mm -hmm. that it does not make us sick. Mm -hmm. The other uh, good thing is that the actual, even though a lot of dogs are getting sick with this particular flu, the actual deaths from it have mm -hmm. been low, thankfully, mm -hmm. and mostly have been in greyhounds uh, that are in a very con concentrated area. Mm -hmm. And they're, they know about this, they're confining it. Uh, it's in basically in Chicago right now. What are the chances of it spreading further south? There's been one case mm -hmm. reported in Sioux City, Iowa, just mm -hmm. popped up yesterday, and then a couple of mm -hmm. cases in Ohio. So thankfully, it's still in the Midwest area. But certainly the important thing to do until this blows over is to uh, avoid things like dog parks, boarding kennels, things of that nature, mm -hmm. unless you absolutely need to. Mm -hmm. There is a vaccine available for canine influenza, but unfortunately, it's the wrong strain. So this is, uh, I think it's the H3N8 is the strain mm -hmm. in the vaccine. Mm -hmm. It's H3N2 that's currently infecting dogs. Mm -hmm. And so the efficacy of the vaccine is questionable, much like the flu vaccine for humans this year. I was just about to ask yeah. you, yeah, it, the, the flu vaccine that many people got this year may be uh, warding off certain types of flu, but maybe not the one that's most prominent in the area. And that was a huge, mm -hmm. huge issue. And that's the trouble with human flu vaccines is that uh, the CDC and the powers that be have to pick the strains mm -hmm. that they think are most likely to infect us somewhere mm -hmm. in August and then have a vaccine prepared by October or so. The trouble mm -hmm. is, is that it, that virus can mutate many times and not be affected by the vaccine or mm -hmm. not give us the vaccine essentially does not mm -hmm. protect us from the virus. Let's go over one more time the sure. symptoms that your canine, your dog may be showing that could possibly be the canine flu. It's mostly coughing, mm -hmm. fever, uh, malaise or lethargy, mm -hmm. and uh, and then sort of not dehydration mm -hmm. from the fever. Mm -hmm. There thankfully is a new cheek mm -hmm. swab test for the flu uh, in mm -hmm. dogs, so that is available commercially. So if you're concerned that your dog may be affected, mm -hmm. You can go to your vet and uh, get mm -hmm. that test done. And then treatment is largely supportive care. So antibiotics for potential secondary infections mm -hmm. from having this flu in your mm -hmm. lungs. And then fluid therapy and then uh, non steroidal drugs to help reduce the fever and the discomfort mm -hmm. from, the mm -hmm. from the fever. Sun Dog Cat Moon is the place to take your canine, that's for sure. Thanks, and Tom. And your cats as well. Coming up, let's do uh, some spring cleaning. Streamline your closet with the experts at Best Kept Self. Low Country Live will continue right after the break. Thank you, Dr. Andrews.